please be seated for the Pro-Chancellor of the University of Lincoln. Good afternoon. It is my great pleasure and privilege as Pro-Chancellor of the University of Lincoln to welcome you all to this graduation ceremony. Welcome first to all our guests, here to celebrate the achievements of your children, grandchildren, family, and friends. Welcome to the friends of the university, whose steady support over the years has helped to build its success. Welcome to my colleagues, the staff of the university, through whose efforts the university is what it is today. And finally, and particularly, welcome to our students, our graduates, for whom this ceremony marks the culmination of years of hard work and study, and we hope a bit of fun too. This is a very special occasion for us all, as we come together to recognize and celebrate your work and achievements. It maybe has an even greater importance this year, when enforced separations have unavoidably changed and diluted the nature of fellowship and friendship that is such an important part of university life. So revel in the festivities with friends and family and always remember your graduation with immense pride and profound satisfaction. Canon Mark Southern will offer the congregation his welcome on behalf of the Dean and Chapter. Pro Vice Chancellor, honoured guests, families, friends and graduates, it's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the Cathedral's Chapter, who are the governing body and all those involved in its life and work, to offer you a very warm welcome, a particularly warm welcome, to this graduation ceremony. You're all most welcome on this very important day. Lincoln Cathedral is a place of worship and pilgrimage to which all are welcome, as well as being a building of historical importance. It's a place where you, as members of the university, have been held in our prayers during your time in the city and continues to be a place that will pray for you as you begin the next stage of your life. It's also been a centre of learning and education for over 950 years, and so this afternoon, you're following in the footsteps of many students through the ages in continuing this noble tradition. Today, we come to celebrate with those of you receiving de degrees, but we also come to thank those people who've made that possible. The staff of the university, both academic and administrative, together with your families, supporters and friends. For those of you graduating, Today marks the beginning of a new chapter in your lives. There will be exciting challenges, I hope, and thrilling adventures for you. I hope that you will fulfill your ambitions and dreams, and may I wish you all of every success in whatever the future may hold for you. But I now invite you to a moment of stillness in this house of prayer, as I pray. God of wisdom, to whom we give thanks for the gift of learning. Hear us now as we give thanks for those achievements we recognize today. And bless with us the continued gift of insight and knowledge into the wonder and beauty of creation. That our lives may evermore be fully enriched and the world in which we live become ever closer to the image of your perfection. This I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So as we've held you in our prayers during your time here, you will be remembered at our evening service today at 5.30. And whether you're able to join us in person at this service or not, please go forward from this place with our prayers and best wishes for the future. Thank you. Thank you. Deputy Vice-Chancellor Professor Andrew Hunter will address the congregation.
Pro-Chancellor, honoured guests, friends, graduands and families, welcome to graduation, the most important occasion in the university's calendar. I'm very grateful to the chapter for their support for the university and for enabling us to congregate today in this magnificent setting. We have a unique partnership which includes working together to research the wonderful medieval library in the cathedral, a seat of worship and learning for nearly a thousand years. This is a special day for the entire congregation, but particularly for you, our graduands. This is your day, and we are delighted to celebrate it with you. Although this is a serious occasion, it need not be solemn. So if you want to clap or cheer, cheer your friends and loved ones as they walk across the stage, please feel free. None of us achieve anything truly worthwhile in life without the forbearance, encouragement, and support of others, friends, families, and loved ones. And I know you wish to express your gratitude. So graduates, can you please all stand up? Stand up. Turn around. And can we give a round of applause to your friend, family, and friends for support? Thank you. You can sit down again now. At Lincoln we pride ourselves on the excellence of the education we provide to our students. We are consistently recognising national surveys for our commitments to supporting students. And I hope that you will now all join me in thanking your lecturers and professional staff for their encouragement and enthusiasm in helping you through your studies. Thank you all. The university was founded 25 years ago with a mission to transform the lives of our students and the prospects of our region. From the few hundred students who joined the first cohort then, we have grown to nearly 20,000 now, building up our academic community and the wonderful campus that houses us all. In addition to educating our students, our academic staff carry out research that addresses the problems of our region and of the world. At last year's COP26 summit in Glasgow, we were the only English university represented, showcasing our revolutionary agri-robotic technology, which has the potential both to address food security and the demands of climate change. Last year's success in the National Research Assessment Exercise, a six yearly audit of research performance, saw a dramatic shift in our reputation, which has been rewarded with an additional £4 million per annum of research funding, providing a strong platform for future progress. As the university matures and grows, its reputation grows with it, and you can be assured that the value of your education here will be recognised and increased throughout your career. At Lincoln, we believe that a university education is about acquiring the social and intellectual skills to contribute to society. We need citizens of character who can adapt to the challenges of new technology and social change. The student experience here has equipped you well to play this role. Our graduates have learned through their studies how to appraise the academic literature, absorbing the understanding painstakingly assembled by others, how to critique, synthesize and extend what they have learned, making their own unique contributions, and how to balance personal ambition and success alongside collaboration with others, developing themselves and contributing to society. Many of you will now be undertaking employment or undertaking further study. The university will do all it can to support you in your future career. Should you require further advice now or in the future, remember that our career service remains available to you throughout your working life. You are always part of the University of Lincoln's community, your alma mater. So please stay in touch through our alumni network and make use of the invaluable networking opportunities that we can provide. Graduands, it has been our great pleasure 
and indeed our enormous privilege to watch each and every one of you develop and grow in your time here with us. Please accept my warmest congratulations on your success. Enjoy this special day. Good luck to you all. Now, by the authority vested in me by the academic board, I am pleased to confer upon you all the awards to which you are entitled. Mr. Stefan Latouche will present graduates who are receiving their awards this afternoon. Pro Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates, graduates receiving research awards from the Department of Management. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Human Resource Management, for their thesis, The Impact of International Employment Agreements for Migrant and Syrian Refugee Workers on the Jordanian Workforce, the role of human resources, Roxana Abdelala Salam al Naiti. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Management, for their thesis, Human Resource Management Processes in Happy Farmhouse Businesses in China, Meng Shichu. For their thesis, Whether Knowledge Counts, the Impact of UK Business Schools in Local Economy, Danua Shu. <laughs> Pro Chancellor, I am pleased to present the graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the Department of Management. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Andrew Paul Nyberg. Damalare Abiodun Sodjurin. For the Postgraduate Certificate in Business Administration, Chidiozie Carmelius Ijihire. For the degree of Master of Science in Human Resource Management, Nora Galib Al Fahad. Oluwasian Isialua Lotto. Leanne Marie Winder. Postgraduate Certificate in Human Resource Management, Tope Valanle Ajala. For the degree of Master of Science in International Business, Anna. Sidi Yagnesh Acharya. Alayton Josephine Ajanihi. Oluwatosin Emmanuel Akintoken. Victoria Alafashade Akinyemi. Ahmed Ali. Chidiebere Godwin Alazie. Mohammed Arbab Amjad. <laughs> Dean Adil Mohammed and Vadeen. <laughs> Queen Deline Amarache Asogwa. <laughs> Rizwan Atha. Felix Olakunle Awadiji.
Pooja Nimeshbhai, sorry, Nimeshbhai Bhagat. Suknaj Bibi. Bindu Bindu Sharma. Venkat Narayana Reddy Boyala. Chintan Bharatbhai Chauhan. Monfort Dilachukwu Chioma. Bina Alpesh Dabasia. Olasola Mabalaji Da Odu. For Milola Elizabeth Fawora. Gagandi Gagandi. Kintal Parashbai Gohel. Sahil Grover. Gurdas Gurdas. Ali Hamza. Mamik Dineshbai Hakani. Chidima Jacinta Ibe. Nilam Chirag Jagani. Chirag Balubai Kataria. The Pindakor. Gurpreet Kaur. Parmanjot Kaur. Jaspreet Kaur. Jaspreet Kaur. Mandeep Kaur. Manjeet Kaur. Manpreet Kaur. Manpreet Kaur. Navneet Kaur. Palmjeet Kaur. Ramanjot Kaur. Rupindajit Kaur. Sandeep Kaur. Sandeep Kaur. Sandeep Kaur. Taimur Ali Khan. Roshani Hashilkuma Kukadia. Diviesh Kuma Rajnikant Malavia.
Asfak Sajid Bai Malek. Sunny Amos Nair. Sagar Jutabai Nakrani. Sonali Notial. Fakan Nazir. Monsurat Olalade Odadeyi. Alabode Akintunde Odakale. Enabong Godwin Ocon. Abiodun Olofun Olawafun Maleo. Okuyoa Florence Olayemi Olajide Abiola Olwa Damalola Olawuyi John Paul Effigenaro Omareye One Prachi Bipin Pai Patel. Trushit Kurit Pai Patel. Feme Paul. Preeti Preeti. Frimpong Prince Priyanka Priyanka Kamla Rani Priyanka Rani Kudarat Oromole sorry Kudarat Omarelewa Raji <laughs> Sophia U Rayman <laughs> Sabah Riaz <laughs> Shazia Saif Devdut Sharma Chami Sahil Shah Path Rajeshbhai Shah Sabah Sadiqe Avtar Singh Biant Singh Gagandeep Singh Harpreet Singh Himat Bia Singh Jaspal Singh Jaswant Singh Jatinda Singh Kalvinda Singh Manpreet Singh
Mohinder Singh. Tejinder Singh. Zara bin Sahayan. Kushal Pajank by Suhagia. Rupa Chandramule. Vashali Vashali. Muskan Verma. Nidhi Ashakuma Yadav. Mohammed Baba Zaid. Postgraduate Diploma in International Business. Dayabahen Ajaykuma Savaj. Hetal Jatinbrai Varani. For the degree of Master of Science in Logistics and Global Operations, Shibli Ali. Obed Kofi Ankora. Gishamol Augustine. Oswald de Souza, Chenenye Nedidimaka Ezike, Ali Amargan Khan, Imran Khan. Christo Ben Matthew Jitin Mohan Felix Oetz Ayajide Peter Aladele Titilope Rashidat Olafon. Benedicta Omoreg Bay. Pradnia Lokesh Sakari. Sonu Sivan Sambasavan. Ikenapius Uzo Ifuna For the postgraduate diploma in logistics and global operations, Sarah Wolfral Makama And that concludes the first part of the presentation of awards. I call upon Professor Simon Lilly, Acting Head of School, to present Lincoln International Business School report. Pro-Chancellor, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, distinguished guests, graduates, family and friends, I am pleased to present the Lincoln International Business School report. The school continues to realise its vision of developing socially responsible leaders ready to meet the challenges of 21st century business. 
The scale of the success of this endeavour is most vividly exemplified by the fact that this is but one of three dedicated ceremonies today for graduates of the school, with a further one taking place tomorrow morning. The school is increasingly international in its outlook and makeup, as those of you assembled here attest. And this is of great benefit to not only the school itself, but to the wider college and university in which it is based, and indeed, of course, the fantastic city of Lincoln and the region of Lincolnshire. However, our internationalism isn't just evident in those that come to study with us. It also runs through much of our collaboration in the areas of research, knowledge exchange and enterprise, inspired by the UNESCO Chair in Foresight and Sustainable Development, which we host, and our embodiment of the UN's principles of responsible management education. Exemplary in this regard is our British Council-funded work in Nigeria, which seeks to enhance the economic empowerment of women through supporting their entrepreneurial endeavour, work that we're also delivering in Bangladesh and with our partners in the University of the Philippines Open University. Similar emphasis was reflected locally in our organisation and delivery of an entrepreneurship and innovation colloquium with financial support from the Society for the Advancement of Management Studies. During the coming year, we'll again host our highly prestigious International Conference on Development Economics, and in collaboration with our partner, the Chamber of Commerce, we'll be working to deliver enhanced support for their members' environmental, social and governance reporting and performance enhancement ambitions under the auspices of an Innovate UK-funded knowledge transfer partnership. And continuing the more local focus, our ULO, UOL 4.0 Challenge initiative has now supported more than 26 local SMEs and charities by identifying innovative solutions for their business challenges, with organisations supported this year, including the Rotary Club and Lincolnshire Fire and Rescue. We've also embarked upon a further years of 20 years of partnership with the award-winning International Bomber Command Centre. In terms of external recognition, the work of... Dr. Nadia Gulko and her network of international partners looking at how management education could and should be reimagined in the light of the shifting business environment recently garnered the KPMG GIWB Best Paper Award at the American Accounting Association's annual conference, the most prestigious conference in the world in that field. Our PG Student University Challenge team finished third for the whole of the UK and the UG team made it to the semi-final competition in London. James Wright, a senior lecturer in accounting and finance, won the training provider of the year at the Digital Finance Function Awards for his collaborations with ACCA and student engagement work. We were also delighted to hear news of Professor Hanya Pieli Chatti's award of a hugely prestigious National Teaching Fellowship from Advance HE. The Tourism Management Institute has recognised the university's BA International Tourism Management and MSc International Tourism Management courses for their industry relevance and the enviable future, future employment prospects they deliver for graduates. And the University of Lincoln will be hosting their national conference on the 11th and 12th of October this year on the Braford Pool campus, where delegates from both universities and the tourism sector, tourism sector will be joining us. It's thus perhaps less than surprising to learn that hospitality, event management and tourism at Lincoln is ranked second overall in the UK in the Garden Guardian University Guide for 2023. Finally, in tomorrow's ceremony, we are privileged to celebrate the award of a PhD to Geoffrey Ridley, who at 92 years of age must be a solid bet for the institution's oldest graduate to date. Congratulations to him and indeed to all of you. Mr. Stefan Latouche will continue presenting the graduates who are receiving their awards this afternoon. Pro-Chancellor, 
I am pleased to present the remaining graduates receiving postgraduate awards from the Department of Management. For the degree of Master of Science in Management, Rahul Preet. Sabri. Vishal. Bilikus Kemi Adegboye. Bimpe Stella Adegoke. Maria Olua Ogbonaloran Adelaikan. Azmat Ali. Akin Kunme Paul Amole. Suleiman Samuel Amure. Mohammed Navid Azim. Oluwa Bakunme Oluwatoyin Babajide. Oshin Batla. Olalekan Emmanuel Betiku. Olaseyi Alapido Dada. Victoria Ego Ono Ege Degbe. Esan Alahi. Lucky Ojihweme Arukpe. Seneha Grover. Bright Igbina Kenzua. Oloasian Ronke Iduu. Amandeep Kaur. Babaljit Kaur. Guminda Kaur. Hardeep Kaur. Harpreet Kaur. Harpreet Kaur. Jasveer Kaur. Parminda Kaur. Rajdeep Kaur. Rupinda Kaur. Rupinda Kaur. Sukwinda Kaur. Navneet Kaur Banga. Kajal Kajal. Kamal Kamal Kapoor. Ashish Kumar.
Baljinder Kumar. Mubasha Latif. Livleen Livley. Sajid Nawaz. Chinimerem Valentin Nowosu. Temitope Gideon Omog Bolligan. Adajoke Adabasola Oridate. Aluafemi Emmanuel Atunba. Harvinda Singh. Victor Sean Phillips. Sonia Prakash. Zishan Rafiq. Mangat Ram. Sonia Rani. Sulena Rani. Shivam Sajwan. Bupinda Singh. Randeep Singh. Shiv Narayan Singh. Priye Isis Tulagaki. Ayubami Michael Ajakaye. <laughs> Chinemerem Priska Ugochuku Francise. <laughs> Vishali Verma. <laughs> For the postgraduate diploma in management. Rajwinder Kaur. For the degree of Master of Science in Management with Human Resources, Gulam Abbas. Olakiyode David Adaramodu. Ola Alua Maxwella Kinte. Chidima Grace Anoka. Ola Doyin Munat Bella Karim. Benjamin Abuka Chukwuma.
at a CK Alawafunke Dada. Asma Dawood. Amatoyosi Eunice Fatile. Imole Victoria Femimale. Sadia Jabin. Jotsna Jotsna Manpreet Kaur Blessing Udoka Nonona Esther Siemba Nayam Winner of Oederi Obia. Sharon Itunu Odafemi. Akinsi Hinde Emmanuel Aguntuasi. Ifi Okocha. Mojisola Bimbola Oladapo Kolowole Sebalatan Umar Shazad For the degree of Master of Science in Management with Project Management, Sharif Oleyinka at a Joby. Kihinde Emmanuel Agbana. Walid Akhtar. Tolilope Ayamide Akamalafe. Mohammed Numan Anwar. <laughs> Mohammed Ayan. Grace Ananefe Ayadele. Kamran Bashir. Kingsley Chenonso Chukwu <laughs> Mofasola Oriolua Daramola <laughs> Sujata Devi <laughs> Augustine Equeribe Moranike Olajamoke Eshafoni. Uruj Farouk. Mohammed Hamza. Gabir Kaur. Ayumide Idowu. Dominic Ijadanola, Ijadanola. <laughs> Mahil Kuma Dipakuma Joshi. <laughs> Kiranpal Kaur. <laughs> Sandeep Kaur. Babatunde Kaleko (Applause) 
Asad Khan. Faiza Latif. Shabazz Suleiman Limalia. Vasim Dawood Makta. Niravkuma Jayeshbai Majidra. Mohammed Nahim. Muritala Ayatunji Niniola. Mohammed Fahad Nouri. Akuchi Chiriadi Nuwamo. Victoria Okonkwo. Patience and Ketchi Okwaraji. Adakimi Olafunmi Aladun Joe Olayton Deborah Ologunde. Tamilara Abimbola Alufemi. Tolulope Francis Olumalola. Kwok Baofam. Sunil Puni. Ali Raza. Rahman Raza. Mercy Chinonso Richard. Gurpinder Singh. Babajide Habib Salami. Ahmad Salim. Shubham Sanjalia. Syed. Syed Nawaz Shah. Fahad Sahel. Adadeo Joseph Tawogbade. Benedict Adiola Williams. For the degree of Master of Science in Project Management, Daniel Ayatunde Faloden. For the degree of Master of Science in International Business, Amrit Pal Singh. Parampreet Singh. And that concludes the presentation of awards this afternoon. Congratulations to you all.
invite Miss Victoria Egedegbe to say a few words on behalf of those graduating this afternoon. Pro Chancellor, Deputy Vice Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty members, family, friends, and fellow graduates, today we stand on the precipice of a monument achievement, the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and unwavering determination. As we gather here to celebrate our master's graduation, it is an honor to address you all and share in this monument occasion. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest gratitude to our families and friends who have supported us throughout this incredible journey. Your unwavering belief in our abilities, your encouragement during moments of doubt, and your unconditional love have been the pillar that have carried us through the challenges we faced. Today, we stand here not only as graduates, but as a testament to the power of love and support. To our esteemed faculty members, thank you for your endless guidance and mentorship. You have challenged us to push beyond our limits, to question the status quo, and to constantly strive for excellence. You have not only imparted knowledge, but also instilled in us a thirst for lifelong learning. Your dedication to our growth and success has been immeasurable, and we are forever grateful for your unwavering commitment to education. Fellow graduates, we have walked this path together, navigated the heights and lows, the triumphs and setbacks. We have formed lifelong friendships, shared countless late night study sessions, and celebrated each other's accomplishments. Today, as we stand on the cusp of a new chapter, let us reflect on the memories we have created and the bonds we have forged. These connections will continue to shape our lives and the lessons we have learned from one another will forever remain ingrained in our hearts. As we embark on the next phase of our lives, let us not forget the responsibility that comes with the privilege of education. We have been equipped with the tools and knowledge to make a difference in the world. Whether we choose to pursue further studies, enter the workforce, or venture into entrepreneurship, let us remember that our education is not just for personal gain, but also an opportunity to create positive change in our communities and beyond. In the face of the challenges that lie ahead, let us remain resilient and tenacious. Let us embrace failures that will learn and grow and ultimately achieve greatness. Let us never lose sight of our dreams and aspirations, and let us continue to strive for excellence in all that we do. As we bid farewell to this chapter of our lives, let us not forget the incredible privilege it has been to pursue higher education. Let us carry with us the memories, the knowledge, and the friendships that we have gained. Let us be grateful for the opportunities that have been bestowed upon us and use them to create a better world. Today, we celebrate not only our individual accomplishments, but also the collective achievements of our class. We are a testament to the power of perseverance, the strength of unity, and the limitless possibilities that, we, that lie within each and every one of us. Congratulations, my fellow graduates, on this extraordinary milestone. As we step into the world as master's graduates, may we continue to inspire, innovate, and make a lasting impact wherever our paths may lead us. Thank you, and may our future be filled with boundless success and unyielding happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Victoria. You did them proud. She did you proud. That was a great speech. Our ceremony is now drawing to its close. Our thanks go to our guests for the support they have given to the university and its students over the years. We hope you will continue to be in touch. We also hope that you, our graduates, will keep in touch 
through the alumni network, not only with each other, but also with your university, and watch its future progress with pride, as we will watch yours. As graduates, I invite you to take your rightful places in the academic procession as we move from the cathedral across to the castle grounds where the alumni celebration reception has been prepared for everyone here. This is your day. If you ever have cause to doubt yourself over the coming years, remind yourself of today and the fact that you are here graduating despite any difficulties that you may have. Reassure yourself that you've demonstrated an ability to adapt, to deal with new situations and challenges, and still to achieve your objectives. All that now remains is for me to express the university's warmest best wishes to you in the words of an old Celtic blessing. May the road rise up before you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may your God hold you in the hollow of the hand. My congratulations to you all. Well done. So our ceremony is now concluded. The academic procession will leave the platform and make its way through the Great West Door and across Castle Square. As it passes, our new graduates will themselves take their place in the procession and leave the cathedral. As they do so, please stay in your places and give them a final round of applause before you join them in the castle grounds. Please all rise for the full academic procession. <laughs>